Hello friends, welcome to the YouTube channel of uh, Sankar Tukaram National Model School. Myself, Abhay Daitankar, your maths teacher. And in the last few videos, we have discussed about the multiplication and division of decimal. We have also seen how to find out the percentage when the decimal and the fractions are key. In this video, we are going to discuss about the new chapter that is the measurement, in which we are going to see about the area, parameter and volume. Now, in this chapter, we are going to see what is mean by perimeter of a closed figure, area of a plane figures and the volume of the three dimensional figures. For that, I'm going to share my presentation. Fine. Now, what different uh, figures in mathematics we have seen up to date? What are the different types of figures we have seen? Uh, up to date, we have seen what is mean by a square. We have seen what is mean by a rectangle. We have seen what is mean by a circle. Then we have seen about the triangle. What is so special about all these figures? Well, all these figures, they actually begin at a point and they end at a point. Take an example of a square. If I start from the point E of the square, and if I start from A to B, and then from B to C, and from C to D, and from D back E. So this actually is a closed figure. Now, same is the case for the rectangle. If I start from this point P, and if I go from P to Q in a straight path, from Q to R, uh, and then R to S in a straight path, and back from S to E, uh, this will form a closed figure. We call this the rectangle. Well, these are a few examples of closed figures. We have seen some figures which are not closed figures. For example, if I take this figure, can we say this is a closed figure? No. We'll take one more figure and can we see that this can be called as a closed figure? No. Because uh, it does not end where it starts. So we are having two types of figures, a closed figure and the open figure. So these figures, they are known as open figures and these figures, they are closed figures. So what is so important about these figures? Well, we have to sometimes find out uh, what is the length all around of all these closed figures. Length all around of all the closed figures. I'm switching to the next page and we'll see a square. So if I take a square and if I actually start from the one end of the square, from A to B, and from B to C and from C to D. If I start moving from point A to B along the line segment PP, then from point B to C along the line segment BC, from C to D along the line segment CD, and from D back to the E along the line segment DK, then the distance traveled by me is known as the parameter of the figure. So this is being known as the perimeter of figure. So what is the perimeter? Perimeter is nothing but the distance all around. Let us take an example of a rectangle. So I'm going to draw a rectangle and we will link these points as uh, the, the name points as P, Q, R and S. And now, if I am start moving from point P to Q along the straight line PQ, then from Q to R, from along the straight line segment QR, and from line segment R to S, and from S to P back. And yes, the distance moved or the length moved all around this closed figure is again known as the parameter of that figure. What about a circle? Let's take a circle. So let's take a circle and we'll see what is the perimeter of a circle. So here I draw a circle. We'll take one point on the circle. So let this point be a uh, point A on the circle. So if I start moving along the circle, along this line, along the curve bar, and 
goes round and round the circle and back to point E. This actually being known as the perimeter of circle. Many times, this is basically known as the circumference of the circle. So, what is the perimeter? Perimeter is nothing but the distance all around of a figure. I am now switching to the uh, my presentation so that uh, we will see what is B by the perimeter of square and how to calculate the perimeter of square. So for that, I am going to share the presentation and then we will see what is the perimeter of a square. Let us think, uh, sorry, we will see the perimeter of a rectangle first. We will take a rectangle with the length 10 cm and the breadth 5 cm. You know that a rectangle is a figure where the opposite sides they are equal in length and they are parallel to each other. We will take the length which is in blue color. First of all, we will take the length of 5 cm or width which is there in yellow color. Then we will take the length which is in blue color. Then we will take the width of 5 cm and then again we will take the green one the length and if I arrange these all the lines in a straight line one after another. What is the total of it? Well, the total of it is 30 cm and this being known as the perimeter of rectangle. So how to find the perimeter of the rectangle? We are going to add breadth, length, breadth and length. However, we are adding the breadth and length for two times. So the perimeter of rectangle can be given as twice less, twice breadth plus twice the length. Or perimeter of rectangle can be even as we can take the two common twice breadth plus length. So this is about how to find the perimeter of the rectangle. To find the perimeter of square and to find the perimeter of square uh, triangles, we'll see in the next video. Till then, goodbye.